you were selfieing. Just look how poofy my hair is though. Like I don't know why it does this sometimes. There's also like residue of my purple shampoo that I just there was so much in my hair that it just didn't rinse out properly. But this is my introduction to my red, white, and royal blue vlog. I just woke up, like literally my bed is still like that. But there's a rumor that the movie comes out at 10 a.m. today. And it is 10.45 because I was really tired. So I'm gonna go find out if that is correct. But if so, that means this vlog is starting early because I am so excited. <laughs> I'm back to upstairs filming because it is on Amazon, which is only available on the upstairs TV. <laughs> yes, the rumors were true. The rumors were true. It is out at freaking 10 in the morning. I actually can't, okay? I've been so excited for this movie, but. I have such lowered expectations because so many things are pissing me off because they've changed too much. Like one thing is there is no June. Alex's sister doesn't exist. He only has his friend, Nora, not the same. His parents were never divorced apparently. They're still together. So there is no uh, drama there. And we don't have a queen, we have a king. So there is a lot that I think's not gonna be great, but if they just have the base story, I will be so happy, but like, I'm so mad that they change these very vital things to Alex's character that it just shits me, but like, it's here. Okay, the vibes are quite immaculate. Like, I'm really liking the way the story just started with a new story that's like introduced them quite well. They're at the wedding. We all hate Philip. Again, spoilers, they're gonna be spoilers in this vlog because I have read this book twice and I love this book so much, but I feel like I'm gonna be stingy about the movie, but they've just met, they hate each other, they think each other's the most irritating person ever. I'm so excited, but like, I wanna be excited, but I'm also just like, I don't wanna be sad, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, no, the cake, that cake was iconic. I feel like I've changed my mind, they've, they've got it. <laughs> that cake was so massive and they talked about how it cost 75,000 pounds, but the way, that like Alex is he's so drunk I don't know why he got drunk at this wedding I know he's bored but like seriously the way he put it on his sleeve at first and he's trying to help him but then they were fighting over the napkin like I've seen snippets of this and I've seen photos and like people were saying that it was too much but no that was perfect like the way that they were both like huddling because the cake was about to fall everyone being pissed off at being in the media like that was iconic like that's exactly the level of it in the book, I swear, like they definitely didn't do too much. That was the perfect amount of, oh my God. Like, I still can't believe they got Uma Thurman to play the mum and her like Texas straw accents, a bit weird, but honestly, I, I love her. Like, I'm so excited that we got such a high celebrity to play the mums. Like, why are all of our things at the moment having the best mum characters? But I do love the way that it's just like, you're gonna be best friends now. And Zara, perfect amount of energy because Zara isn't an arsehole, but she's just very strict tells you how it is and honestly I just I just love her and the way that he's just like whining about it Alex and he's just like I don't want to and she's like you are bitch I'm gonna make you like it's so amazing like it's so book accurate and I'm like really excited now oh my god we finally got to meet Sean and I don't think he's a bodyguard now which is a bit weird but Henry got him sweetheart and I'm just excited I'm so excited like they hate each other so much but obviously we know that Henry actually loves him but Alex is just a bit thick and doesn't realize yet but like I mean, iconic is my word of choice for most situations, but it's going to be worth the day for this video because the interviews are hilarious because they're just slightly roasting each other without anyone actually realizing. Like, I feel like if this was like real people in the world and I would have been watching these videos, I would have been like, <laughs> I ship it. There is a vibe. But they're now at the children's hospital and this is where Alex is just like, oh, he's actually like a human and not a robot. <laughs> oh my God, how did I forget about the gun scare? Because like them being in that closet and just like, it's actually a bigger space than I thought it was and they're just rolling around and can't even get up. If this was a normal situation, I don't think it would be that hard to untangle and then get up. They could even stand up and re-sit down. Like, what are they doing? But it's iconic. But I love the way that Henry's like, oh, why don't you just like me? <laughs> <laughs> they're perfectly them like they are them like I was so worried because they've both been in movies that are questionable like not questionable but like their acting was just like not amazing and I'm sitting there like these are our Alex and Henry's because 
but like it's so good but i like the way that alex literally dislikes him because of one situation because i remember in the books it was like little things that just irritated him over the time of the years of their personalities but i love this that he's just like really this one time that we met years ago was the reason you hate me. <laughs> I'm so excited that they called it Kate Gate on the news because that was like the iconic thing is it's Kate Gate. And now they're all like, oh, they're besties. It worked. It so worked. They're besties now. But when are the emails going to start? Because I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I forgot too that the other change that they also don't have in the movie is they got rid of Liam. And that was like, you know, Alex's first boyfriend. It was his first sexual understanding of like being with a man because at the time they just thought it was normal, like it's just what boys did until he realized that like, oh, I actually had kind of like a thing and a crush on this person. Liam was completely scrapped, but we have Miguel who is a journalist and he's like, we should hang out again sometime. So I wonder if they've replaced Liam with Miguel, but because Miguel's a journalist, is this gonna cause shit? Like he's gonna say something about something, but he's never actually publicly said anything about them being together but it would be a really arsey move but also it seems like when he says things to him he won't publish them if he really doesn't want to and i don't know if he's being like genuine or he's gonna be like a snake because he's a journalist that i'm getting a vibe it was meant to be emails they're just text messaging text messaging is not safe not that emails are not safe either but it was emails that was why it was cute because it was letters in email form now they're just texting but also, who's going to hack their phone and get into that? Like, I'm so concerned. I actually really like the way that they've incorporated the messaging, though, that they're still, like, both in the room and they're talking to each other. Like, obviously, we can keep reading text messages that they send, but I like the way that it's, like, out loud and, like, the way they're both on the bed talking. And we know that they're in different places, but I also feel like they should have made the sheets and the pillows different just to add that little bit extra. But it's really cute that, like, they're obviously in different beds, different countries, but they're just having a chat with each other and they included the turkey. I was concerned. I was like, is the turkey going to be a thing? Because it's actually a big thing, him being fucking terrified of it. So I love that. Like, I should have expected the party to be this, like, extravagant, but, like, they built a whole separate area. Like, I thought it was in the White House, but there's, like, a massive tent. But also, um, Henry's friend, whose name is... P P P P P P I don't remember. What is it? It's, it's on here. Let me just... Is it tell Percy? I love that it has the little like actor thing, the x ray, so perfect. But he was in love with June and now it's Nora. Like it's bothering me so much that they keep changing the thing. I feel so bad for Henry because he just doesn't want to be there. Like he's obviously only there because Alex is there. But this kind of a party would make me feel really awkward too, especially if my friend just kept leaving me. Because it's awkward. You, you only enjoy it if you're stuck with someone. Like, they don't leave your side and you don't leave theirs and you can enjoy it together. But, like, the way that he's like, I don't dance because it's ballroom and obviously he's a prince. But then he comes out, he's drinking the wine. He's having a good time when Alex is there, but then Alex leaves him again. So he's just like, well, fuck this. And takes his massive bottle of wine and he goes. <laughs> Why does this get low moment hilarious? <laughs> like, everyone drops and they're just like, try. <laughs> The kiss, the kiss, like the way that he's just like, the people I date, I don't like, and the people I like, I can't date, and then like, the, the kiss. oh my god, and like, Alex kisses him back, and then his face is so horrified, he's like, oh, okay, bye, <laughs> oh my god, the kiss in the red room is like, it's so cute, but it's just, it's not the same, it's like when they made the joke about Alexander Hamilton, and the way that he's just like, singing God Save the Queen to like, make you go down, <laughs> like, it wasn't long enough. It was not long enough, but obviously they're going to, like, hang out later that night. So, oh, like, I'm glad they had it, but it's just, like, the book source was right there. Like, during the it's in the book. Wait, also, also, because I obviously forgot everything that's happening, is, like, when they, like, break apart and, like, Henry Bird tends to be looking at the bookshelf. It's so awkward. But in the best way possible. Okay, I'm like so excited that they're, like, finally at the point where it's like, you know, I'm going to do very bad things to you in the room, but I was also like, ah! like Sometimes watching these scenes, I'm like, please stop. But they are, they're cute. They're cute. And I like the way that he's just like, hey, just put it out there. Like, I'm um, bisexual. And Henry's like, oh, I'm me now. I'm, I'm as gay as a maypole. And I'm freaking mad. Because does this mean we're not going to get the, I've been as gay as a maypole since I came out of mum, Philip? Like, it's in there, but it's fucking not right. If they don't, because I don't think they can use maypole twice. I am absolutely furious about this i'm sorry like it was meant to be a cute scene and i like the way because henry was meant to say and i'm very very gay 
And I like Drew because they're just like, oh, we'll just keep it cash. Like, it's just a cute thing, even though they're fucking in love with each other. Like, there's just no hope for them. They're just in love. Ugh, another scene that was right there. Like, the whole in the polo outfit in the theater, like, when he's just like, oh, my God, you're really doing it for me. Like, that was iconic in the books. And they just, like, yeah, they obviously have sex in the weird polo shed. But, like... But, like, they need to actually put the lines and the moments and the, the like, spend more time on the things that are important. These are important to me. <laughs> I really 100% feel that they've taken away Alex's um, aspirations to be in politics. He still wants to be more than the party boy player, but literally, in the books, he was studying politics. He was a big part of things. He went with his dad to things. He was that, like, because there's that other guy that was in politics, and I think they might have replaced him with Miguel because he was, like, Alex's mentor and the person he really looked up to. And this, he doesn't seem to really be into politics like he wrote a memo for Texas and stuff but it doesn't seem to come from the background of him actually caring about politics and it's really annoyed me that they've taken so many of his fundamental personality things and the things that are important to him and just turned him into this party boy who's like in the press and he's this person and that person and we don't even have like the big three thing that they have with June and Nora like there are so many things that they've changed and like thank god the base romance is there but they've completely butchered Alex's character and I hate it so much yeah definitely watching Alex in Texas and doing the campaigning stuff is way more Alex Alex than the Alex that we have because like he's literally just doesn't seem to have like the same aspirations but obviously he's doing a good job now but then like Miguel's there and he's like talking to him and he's just like you're a big asshole and now Miguel's looking at them and I'm like Miguel's gonna fucking say some shit bruh keep the peace like he just walked off with his boyfriend like I don't it's not it's not a good point Alex like I know that this gets shared and stuff but I remember it was because of Jeffrey Richards being a douchebag so it's just don't know how it's actually gonna pan out now because I just really don't know how it's gonna go <laughs> Oh my god the best thing about this adaptation is Zara little Lord Fuckleroy <laughs> she's iconic but like it's actually so sweet because I have seen a part of this scene before because obviously this happened in the books right is what they normally do is they would hook up you know have some time together and would leave in the middle of the night so this never happens but this is the first time that they just slept through the night so when Zara comes in she's just like where's the girl where's the girl and then like Henry's in the closet and it was so funny that he's just like it makes a noise so then she finds him and her panic was so real man because this changes everything but how sweet was it when Henry's like oh and I told my sister and he's like you did <laughs> and I love the way that Zara's like would it work if I told you to never see him again and he's like no because Henry looks so sad and defeated like he was so happy a second ago and he's just like what's gonna happen but like they're so cute I can't like, they're such boyfriends. Like, they're so cute. I definitely prefer Alex being able to actually go to his mum and actually come out to her because I'm pretty sure in the book she knew about it before he was able to tell her and that, like, not that it took it away from him, but obviously, like, Zara would have said, oh, this is what's happened and then he was able to have kind of a chat with his mum and still have a sweet time. But she also made a PowerPoint presentation about, you know, like... It's okay to explore your sexuality, but does it have to be with the Prince of Wales, you know, kind of thing. So I feel like this gave him back the power. Because as I said, I swear it was just like a not a fully like he's able to come out situation. But I do like the way that his mum's so supportive when like obviously it's still an issue and she's about to be re-elected. But in the movie adaptation, her son comes first. Like she's there to be supportive of him first before having to be like, yeah, but it's the Prince of Wales. It's gonna be a bit of a drama here, but like, I definitely prefer this version more. I could zoom, but look, it's one last stop. It's, it's, what's this other one? Okay, that seems like something that Henry would wear, but it's, it's, it's the book. And he's wearing pink. What is this? Okay, not a big fan of them combining their awesome timeout, which was meant to be the six of them, which just doesn't exist because they used to be like the awesome six or whatever. Now that's four of them. So, side tangent, but the point is that they've combined the um, trip to the cabin, which it was only like Henry and Alex and their sisters or something with the whole entire night out with the karaoke. So they're just combining storylines, which is fine so that we get both storylines. And I'm so excited that we had him singing um, Don't Stop Me Now in karaoke. And Henry actually is holding the microphone like Freddie Mercury did. So that's sweet, but like, 
it's making a short out like the things like it's meant to be like a very sweet moment and I hope we still get the cute moments but I also like the way that like Henry came in, in in his suit and then he was so laid back in his normal clothes later and like he's wearing the cap at the bar like they're having a good time it's a good vibe but it's like the things are different there's something just like so sweet about the way that Alex is just about to tell Henry he loves him and then he just jumps away like he basically runs away like he swims away a little bit different than running but like this is so book accurate but before he actually just like left the country because he's like i i can't i can't deal with this at all and he's like told him at the beginning don't you fall in love with me and he's like why oh uh, they have like completely butchered this freaking like in the rain scene because it was hilarious that he was outside yelling at him and sean is like shut up brah and he's there just like let me in this is why you marry your cousins, isn't it, you bitch, you wanker? Like, he was so angry. But it's just him standing there being like, I love you, why don't you love me back? And I like at least that they do have the section of him being like, I don't want to go into another prison. I don't want to live this life, even though I love you so much. I don't want to feel like a prisoner my whole life. And it's valid, it's fair. I'm thankful that they include the, well, if you want me to leave, tell me to leave. You make me leave. But now they're going to what? To the place where he has that statue that he likes? Because this wasn't the thing, this wasn't. Like they were meant to have him say, make me leave. And then he kisses him and it's, it's powerful. What is that? This happened right at the end of the book, so now it's happening now. I don't understand what's going on. But it is cute. Like, the whole scene when they are in the museum is cute and how he's like, I wished I could have brought a boy here and that would have been so sweet and how he went with his dad. But then they're like, history, huh? Bet we can make some. So I'm so glad that quote's at least in this. Like, if I was watching this at night, I would have made sure I had my history heart shirt on, but because I'm not, it's pajamas for me. Okay, it's so much cuter that they actually swapped the ring and the key because what happened in the book is Henry gave Alex the key and he actually put it on the necklace chain. But it's sweeter that they swapped. Like, that's actually so cute. Oh, so they are doing emails. Like, it was all texting for ages. When did they swap to emails? I didn't even pick up on that. I love that they're calling them the Waterloo Letters, though, because that's what they were called in the book. But I'm also really excited that we actually got to see Henry's reaction to the news, though, because obviously the book's from Alex's point of view. So we just got to see the aftermath of how Henry's going. They had a complete communications blackout, so they couldn't actually talk to each other and see how each other was going. I just hope Alex comes to the palace and it comforts him, because that is a very important part of the book. This is all wrong. Like, this is all wrong. What is happening? Because Alex is just doing a press statement about how they've been together this whole time when they haven't even talked to each other yet. So what, so he's not going to go there? They're not going to comfort him? They're not going to have this whole thing where the mum comes in and tries to save them? Because it doesn't seem like Henry's mum's even going to be a character. So, like, have they talked to each other? Like, I thought the king was going to try and push this under the rug, but if Alex is making a statement about it, what? What is happening? Honestly, I'm shocked that they even included Zara and Sean being a thing because nothing seems to be going the way that it should be. And I so love that we did get the phone call and I love that it was actually from Henry's point of view because he's the sad boy in the situation. Like, they're both sad, but Alex can kind of take it a bit more than Henry. But, like, the way that they, like, hugged on the stairs too. <laughs> like, it's so sweet, but, like, nothing's happening like it should. The tears came. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Like, I don't even think I like this version of it being a king and not the queen because, like, the queen was such an asshole when she was all just like, oh, it could have just been all fake. But it would have made more sense to have this conversation before Alex came out and did a statement like, what? But, like, the king was such an asshole. And he's just like, no, this is just, it's not what we do. But then, like, the crowds of people. I'm so glad they still did that because it's so sweet. Like, they have so much support. <laughs> Like, I didn't even cry in Heartstopper, but, like, this, this made me sad, like, <laughs> and now the election, like, the election seems to be, like, barely a plot in this movie, I swear, and it's, like, freaking, so they don't even talk about the fact that Jeffrey was the one that leaked everything because they got rid of the other election dude man that was very important to the story, but it's, like, <laughs> we don't need him, and, like, Miguel doesn't make sense, really, like, I know that he's a journalist, so it's, like, a snake personality, but it doesn't make sense that he's the one that releases the shit. I don't, I don't know why they did it this way, but we know Ellen's gonna win. <laughs> now I'm crying because they won the election. Like, why is it so sweet the way that, like, they came running and the mum came running and, like, they won. <laughs> and, like, Henry's on stage with them and they're all here. <laughs> why is this making me so emotional? Like, oh, I'm crying so much. Oh, at least it ended with them going to his childhood house, like it did in the book. 
So many things were different though, but like at least we got that moment. And there was an end credit scene because Jenna also watched this at the same time as me and we've been chatting about it. And she was like, there's an end credit scene. And it's basically like the scene after the cake drops and Alex kind of goes, do you think anyone noticed? And everybody's like, what the fuck? But I definitely enjoyed the movie. Like for what it was, it was definitely done really well. It told a really good story, but it's so hard not to think about the book and the way that they change things because Alex isn't the Alex that I know from the books. Like he's still a good character. Their romance was still really good and it was very them, like in such a good way. So it's not like I just like this movie, but there is just changes that I don't understand because they just did not add to the story. They took away fundamental parts, but I'm so glad that I watched it. Can't believe it came out because I swear so many of these things I've been waiting for so long for. And now we're halfway through August. Like what is time honestly at the moment, but I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Tell me all your thoughts and feelings, but thanks for watching this little vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.